Hello and welcome to Harrelson County. Hey, you have your mask on. No one can hear you. But COVID. Oh, we're outside. All right, I'll go with you on that. But if you, hello and welcome. My name is Lawrence Hinkle and I am a resident of Harrelson County for 12 years. So you are in luck because you found this video because either A, you want to buy some land or B, it was by accident. Now, if it's by accident, I suggest you might consider you're being lucky right now. Go get some lottery ticket numbers, just one. But anyhow, for the rest of you, welcome. And with my handy dandy high tech graphics, we are going to go over what to expect when buying land out here in Harrelson County. So let's talk first about land. We're going to start with why five acres is the minimum you can buy. And that has to do with red clay and number two, a perk test. Next, we're going to talk about cotton and land practices that resulted in you having nothing but red clay. Next, we're going to talk about these pictures you might see and how they are not done from here. And last, the, the exciting world of human remains. So, let's go into the section here, land. First off, why five acres? And here you go. Beautiful, beautiful red clay. This stuff doesn't hold water for dang. Or lit water in it for a day, which goes to our second perk test part here. And the perk test is a test that's done primarily in this area, in part by UGA, that determined that the minimum acreage you needed out here for a septic system is five acres. That is the bare minimum now, mind you. And you're going to have neighbors with you who also have the bare minimum five acres. Why is that? Well, cotton. And bad land practices back in the 1800s got rid of all the topsoil out here and you're guaranteed red clay. You might get lucky and you'll have a little top, but that's only about a quarter of an inch. And I just want to make a side note, the pictures you see out here, I don't know where those came from because I have no, it's beautiful out here, but those pictures, especially of the rivers out here, are not from here. And lastly, let's talk about the joy of finding human remains and the, and, the, and, the, and the pleasure you get bringing out your very own coroner from the county to verify that, in fact, you have human remains. Now, why would you have human remains out here? Well, one, there were Indians out here and there are Indian burial mounds in the area. Not just that, but also the plantation area. We don't need to go into that. And lastly, in most recent times, your star-crossed meth-headed lover that got taken out because they were going to rat you <laughs> and they get dumped out on your property. Now I myself have had the joy of finding remains so I know that this is in fact true. So next let's talk about your utility options. You have septic versus sewer. You have well versus city water. HughesNet versus fiber. Satellite versus cable and electric versus solar. So let's talk about your utilities. Septic versus sewer. Well, with septic, you have the benefit of you put it in once, and there you go. You don't have to pay for it anymore. And with sewer, you have the guarantee that you're not going to catch cholera from your own stuff. Also, it actually helps you out a lot that, to know that if you if you don't properly put in your septic system, you that mud puddle might not actually be a mud puddle. So you, you, sewer is, I'd say, a better choice. Problem is, there's no sewer, so it's going to be septic. You just, that's what you got. Now then, well versus city water. Once again, with the well, you have a theoretical eternal source of water that you don't really have to pay for. Great. Problem is, cholera, and that's where city water comes in. You don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about your septic system being too close to your well and or a poorly put in septic system. The problem is you got a well because there's no city water out here. Let's be honest. And then la next, let's go HughesNet versus fiber. There's no fiber. You're going to go with HughesNet. Satellite versus cable. Once again, there's no cable. You're going to have to go with satellite. And then electrical versus solar. I, I would go with solar because the electrical grid out here, I consider solar. Let's talk about local culture. Larry, you look stupid with those glasses on. This is a salad. I'm keeping them on. First up is guns. One thing you should know, how many you should have. 
And two, we'll talk about how early you should get a concealed carry permit. Next, meth. That is a big part of the local culture, and you need to know the, uh, several items about that. Well, we'll go into next, lawn ornamentation, and how you should or ornament your lawn. Next, how you should refer to the Civil War, and how you should talk about it out here in the local area. And three, more for you northerners, like me, you need to know the southern mentality. Chip on the shoulder, what kind of truck to have, and three, how to keep up outward appearances. Guys, let's talk about... <laughs> Guns! And you, I think, have three questions about guns. Here is one is my shirt. And why do I have a shirt like this and not the original shirt? Well, I'm no Kubrick, so I can't keep things cl uh, clear like that. But second, let's go back over here. Guns. How many... <laughs> How many guns do you need? And the simple answer is all the guns. All the guns. And then their second question is... Well, concealed carry. How do you need concealed carry? Yes, and just like voting, you should do it early and often. Next up, let's talk about meth. A couple of things to know about meth. You only need to lock your doors, not your windows. Why? Because they're on meth. Two, if you go out of town, please remember to have a house sitter. Don't, because if you don't, you might come back, back to a burnt out shell of what once was a meth lab while you were gone. Lastly, and a side note, it is a joy and exciting experience to go to your local grocery store. So let's talk about lawn ornamentation. You say, Larry, I just don't have the money. I just moved out here. I just built a house. I do not have money to make my lawn look nice. I say, I got you covered. Out here in West Georgia, your friends and neighbors will go ahead and take care of you and make you fit right in with the rest of Harrelson County with the free lawn ornamentation. So next up, the Civil War. Just don't. Don't talk about the Civil War. If you're from the North, like me, just, just leave it alone and walk away. Because this is one argument that is very touchy down here you don't want to get involved in. But if you have to, refer to it as the Uncivil War and that'll get you out of a lot of arguments. So now, three things you need to do to fit in properly here in the South. One, you always need to maintain a nice chip on your shoulder at all times. And two, and most importantly, trucks. So let's talk about that. Why, there goes a truck now. Oh, there goes another one. And another one. Got a truck. Got a truck on the side. Got a truck there. That's three trucks. Oh, four trucks in a row. Five trucks in a row. And then one truck, two trucks. And that don't count. And that don't count. I like that one. That don't count either. Holy cow. There is a truck. And then there's another truck. All sorts of trucks. <laughs> Pulling in. Look at that. Trucks. Alright, dang on. It's a veritable parking lot of trucks. <laughs> Remember, as long as you have one of those bad boys behind me, that leads into the third and final point, and that is appearances. As long as you got one of those, and you drink all you want, as long as no one sees you, you can live in whatever trailer park you want. Nobody will know anything. And here we have some more high-end graphics to describe what we are about to talk about. Once again, just to note, it is not to scale. Here we have Tally Mountain. It is majestic at 1,522 feet above sea level. Over here, not to be majestic, is Trash Mountain. It is going to reach a height of 1,422 feet, just to the right of our majestic Tally Mountain. Oh, look, there's a little fly-ash truck going up right now to the bulldozers at the top. As you see here, we have Tallapoosa, Highway 100, I-20 going back behind there. Me up here on Mount Zion Road. Oh, what the? I told you. And you're going, what? Because you bought land out here. There's Stedman, and then there's Jacksonville Road. Oh, look, there's some partridge farms out there. So now let's talk about local politics. The local landfill that's coming in, there's Tally Mountain. What does Tally Mountain have to do with it? Why, Tally Mountain is a majestic 1,522 feet above city level. And right to the right of it, in this view, you will see rising day by day the new landfill that's coming in. It is going to reach a ma not majestic 1,422 feet above sea level. 
And a little known fact, Georgia Power is looking to get rid of 10 fly ash sites. Why do I say that's important? Because this is about to become the largest landfill in all of Georgia. 2 plus 2 equals 4, and that is going to be one stinky mess that you'll see rising up out of the, sky, out of the, out of the ground for the next 50 years. And uh, if you can see it, you can smell it. Let's talk about our local school systems. They are, uh, look guys, just look it up online. I, I need a beer. I, this is why you start smoking again. Oh my gosh. Final thoughts. So, does COVID have you scared and BLM got you running? Well, come on out to Harrelson County because it's awesome out here. Hello guys. So in all seriousness, let's go over a few final things that really you should know coming out here. One, the travel time to Atlanta. I live out here. It's going to be an hour and a half to two hours. Maybe at 3 a.m. on a Saturday night, you might get there in an hour. But on all honesty, it is, it is a long trip. There are a lot of aggressive F-350s and Mercedes Benzes out there. And depending on how they're weaving in and out, it could be between an hour and a half to two hours to get to work. There's going to be a lot of peeling out out where you live. Midnight, 4 o'clock in the morning, you're going to get woke up by a lot of guys turning their wheels. Eternal gunfire. You just don't even bother calling a cops because there's going to be gunfire from about 8 a.m. to about back around to 7 a.m. <laughs> every day out where you're going to be. That's just the way it is and that's the culture. Your religious choices, though, hilariously, I want to talk about that because you are going to meet flat earthers out here. You're going to meet creationists out here. You're going to meet QAnon lovers out here. And on a side note, you, if you drink, you can be Methodist. And if you don't drink, you got all the Southern Baptist choices you can pick. Lastly, if you want something in your house that mm, doesn't look like it belongs in a trailer and or anything organic, it's a 30-mile trip to get to any of those stores. I mean, that's the way we like it out here. And that's just the way it is. And lastly, yes, chickens. There's going to be, there's a lot of chickens have been growing out here. A lot of people are becoming poultry farmers out here. And that's the politically correct way to put that, poultry. And yes, even maybe me. I'm a video engineer. And the reason why you guys, scaredy cats, are coming out here to Harrelson County is because of COVID-19. And because of that, live events are dead. And I may have to become a poultry farmer to make ends meet. And yes, I am going to be right up on three to four of your all's properties. So that's a full disclosure, and I'm sorry, but now you know, and you need to consider that before you buy out here. Thank you.